two blocks connected with a rope. Two blocks connected by a light horizontal rope sit at rest on a horizontal frictionless surface. Block A has mass 15 kg and block B has mass M. A constant horizontal force, 60 newtons, is applied to block A. As you can see in the figure, this force is applied horizontally. In the first 5 seconds after the force is applied, block A moves 18 meters to the right. So, uh, block A moves. While the blocks are moving, uh, since they're connected with the rope, they will move together. What is the tension T in the rope that connects the two blocks? And what is the mass uh, M of block B? So, uh, first of all, in part A, let's note that we have a constant horizontal force being applied. So if you have a constant uh, horizontal force, F, uh, this will cause a constant acceleration. Okay, so uh, constant acceleration uh, will be for the motion of uh, two blocks. So it will be constant acceleration motion of the two blocks. So as far as the distance they travel under the influence of this constant acceleration, we know from kinematics that the distance they will travel will be 1 over 2 a t squared the velocity as a function of time will be a t and therefore uh, since in uh, 5 seconds we travel 18 meters distance so 1 over 2 a uh, 5 square will be equal to 18 meters and therefore we will find that the acceleration uh, is 2 times 18 divided by 25 which is equal to uh, 1.44 meters per second square so uh, in order to answer the question in part A, what is the tension in the rope, I'm going to draw a free body diagram for block A. So let's start with a free body diagram for block A. I look for the forces acting on this block. Uh, so in the free body diagram, block A, modeled as a particle, uh, will feel the horizontal force F to the right. And uh, the tension will be opposing this force. So tension on the rope will be to the left. So you will see this tension uh, T developing, uh, which will be acting to the left on block A and acting to the right on block B. Uh, we have the weight of block A. So uh, mass of block A times the gravitational acceleration g since we are sitting on a horizontal surface there will be a normal force and uh, the contact force between block a and this surface now uh, the coordinate system this is y this is x And the net force on the y-axis is zero. Why? Because there is no motion on the y-axis. So the normal force acting on block A will be equal to the weight of block A, mass of uh, block A, multiplied by gravitational acceleration, g. The net force acting on block A in the horizontal axis, fx, will be equal to force F in i-hat direction 
tension in minus i hat direction f minus t this is equal to mass of block a times the common acceleration of the two blocks and therefore i can see that this tension uh, can be written as force horizontal force minus mass of block a times the common acceleration a so i know that this horizontal force is 60 newtons what was mass of block a block a has mass uh, 25 kilograms so we can uh, 15 kilograms not 25 15 kilograms okay so it's going to be 15 times uh, 1.44 the common acceleration i find that the tension in the rope should be 38.4 newtons so i see that i have three significant figures in all the quantities specified so this has to be given with three significant figures 38.4 newtons will be the tension in part b i want to know the mass of block b so i can draw a free body diagram for block b as well free body diagram for block b now in block in the case of block b when block b is modeled as a single particle here uh, block b feels the tension to the right which is why it has the common acceleration a with block uh, with common acceleration a with block a there will be a normal force acting on block b because it's in contact with the horizontal surface and there will be the weight of block b mass of block b times the gravitational acceleration g now the same co uh, coordinate axis here net force on the y-axis has to be zero the normal force on block b is equal to its weight the net force on the x-axis is basically equal to mass of block b times the common acceleration a and there is only one force the tension that's acting on it because we are on a frictionless surface there is no friction acting on block b or block a so this gives me for mass of block b uh, tension t divided by the common acceleration a so the tension i have found in part a to be 38.4 newtons this divided by 1.44 gives me for mass of block b um, 26.7 kilograms okay uh, now <clears throat> there is an alternative way of uh, solving this problem i could have considered blocks a and b together uh, for this part so alternatively i could have done the following i can draw a free body diagram for a system consisting of block a block b and the rope between them which is a, a light rope it, its mass is negligible so for this total system uh, block a and b and the rope uh, the total weight pointing down is mass of block a plus mass of block b times the gravitational acceleration g there will be the total uh, normal force from the horizontal surface and there will be uh, the horizontal force f acting on this system now since the net force acting on uh, the system is uh, f this this should be responsible for the total mass mass of a mass of b times common acceleration so this must be equal to f so you can see that mass of block a block b can be calculated by uh, dividing this force f with the common acceleration a and subtracting from it a uh, mass of uh, block a so if you did that 
we would find it is 60 divided by 1.44 common acceleration minus 15 kilograms the mass of block a and we obtain the same answer 26.7 kilograms as expected so let's summarize we have two blocks block a and block b connected with a rope they're moving together under the influence of a constant horizontal force f acting to the right there is no friction uh, between these surfaces <clears throat> and the rope is massless so it's a light rope and there's an observation in the first five seconds when after the force is applied the system moves 18 meters to the right so from this observation what is the tension in the rope and what is the mass of block b so first i noted that the only constant a horizontal force acting on a plus b is f there is no friction and this constant force will cause a constant acceleration motion of the two blocks together from kinematics i know that if i have a constant acceleration a the distance traveled will be 1 over 2 at square velocity will be time dependent at and from 1 over 2 a 5 square uh, <clears throat> the the time is, was 5 seconds the distance traveled is 18 meters that's the total displacement so from this i calculate the acceleration then i draw the free body diagram for block a i have to identify the forces acting on block a constant horizontal force f to the right tension to the left the weight and the normal force which is the reaction of the horizontal surface to the weight uh, gravitational force acting on block a uh, the net force on the y-axis is zero the normal force is ma times g the net force on the x-axis f minus t is the, uh, equal to mass of block a times a f net equals ma newton's second law so from this i can calculate the tension from the free body diagram of block b i see the only constant horizontal force is tension and tension is responsible for mass of block b times a so it is the acceleration on block b caused by this tension so mass of block b is tension divided by the common acceleration that gives me the answer that i'm looking for alternatively i can think of a plus b and the rope as a single system because the rope doesn't have a mass the total uh, system uh, mass is ma plus mb times g will be the weight uh, the normal force balances the weight of the total weight of the two blocks the constant horizontal force f acting to the right no friction and from this equation f equals the total mass times acceleration i can pull out the mass of block b and gives me exactly the same answer